Hey bookish souls, welcome back to our literary corner. Today we're diving into the emotional roller coaster that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. If you're ready for a heartfelt journey that explores life, love, and what it truly means to live, stick around. They Both Die at the End is a poignant YA novel set in a world where individuals receive a phone call on the day they are going to die. The story follows Mateo and Rufus, two strangers who connect through an app called Last Friend on their end day. Together, they embark on a profound and unforgettable adventure. At its core, this novel delves into themes of mortality, friendship, and the importance of truly living in the face of imminent death. Silvera skillfully weaves a narrative that prompts readers to reflect on the value of time, relationships, and the impact we have on the lives of others. Mateo and Rufus are beautifully crafted characters, each bringing a unique perspective to the story. Mateo, cautious and reserved, and Rufus, bold and impulsive, form an unlikely yet powerful friendship that transforms both of their lives. The supporting characters add depth and diversity to the narrative, enhancing the overall emotional resonance. Adam Silvera's writing style is raw and emotionally charged. He doesn't shy away from tackling difficult subjects, and his prose has a poignant simplicity that cuts straight to the heart. The novel's structure, told in alternating perspectives, enhances the connection readers feel with the characters. As Mateo and Rufus navigate their final day, the novel explores their fears, regrets, and unfulfilled dreams. The journey is both heartwarming and heartbreaking, capturing the essence of what it means to live in the face of death. The title may give away the ending, but it's the journey that makes this story unforgettable. They Both Die at the End has received widespread acclaim for its emotional depth and powerful storytelling. Readers have praised Silvera for his ability to create authentic characters and deliver a narrative that elicits genuine and visceral emotions. The novel has sparked important conversations about life, death, and the pursuit of meaningful connections. As of now, there hasn't been a cinematic adaptation of They Both Die at the End, but the book's compelling narrative and relatable themes make it ripe for adaptation. Many readers are eagerly anticipating the possibility of seeing Mateo and Rufus's story on the big screen. In conclusion, They Both Die at the End is a literary gem that invites readers to contemplate the brevity of life and the significance of human connection. If you haven't experienced the emotional journey within these pages, it's a must-read that will linger in your heart long after you turn the last page. That wraps up our exploration of They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. If you've read the book, share your thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more bookish discussions, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a heartfelt review. Until next time, happy reading and cherish every moment.